India and Taiwan are set to be in talks for a free trade agreement and setting up a semiconductor manufacturing hub in India. If the move to create semiconductor manufacturing plant succeeds, it will be only the second such facility by Taiwan in a foreign country after its production hub in the United States. The ongoing chip shortage has once again highlighted the need to locally produce semiconductors in order to meet increasing demand and reduce the country's reliance on imported chips presently being sourced primarily from China, Korea and Taiwan. According to reports, the Indian government has already proposed a number of sites for the facility and one of Taiwan's leading semiconductor producers, including the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company TSMC and the United Microelectronics Corporation UMC, may implement the mega project. Taiwan is a major player in the production of chips globally. According to industry estimates, TSMC manufactures around 50% of all semiconductors globally. Meanwhile, the government is rolling out a package worth 76,000 crores for localized manufacturing to boost the production of chips that has paralyzed the consumer electronics and automotive industry. The scheme is also expected to create some 35,000 specialized high-end jobs, 1 lakh indirect employment opportunities, and attract investments worth $23 billion in the process. And unlike previous PLI schemes where the government offered incentives on incremental sales, this one is expected to offset the high costs of setting up a semiconductor factory. The government is expected to bear as much as 50% of the costs associated with setting up a fabricator and it could go a long way in alleviating some of the uncertainty involved in investing in such projects. But there's still some confusion on whether this will be a direct cash infusion or include some kinds of incentives. Moreover, apart from the obvious high costs, companies have to take into account the infrastructure challenges. For instance, one needs uninterrupted power supply to set up a plant, along with access to millions of litres of ultra-pure water. Even a basic fabrication unit is known to consume more than 20 million litres of water per day. And if you can't get yourself a pristine location for the plant, then it's a no-go once again. In fact, back in 2017, when India last tried to woo global semiconductor companies, it failed on these accounts. But as the world reels through a crippling semiconductor shortage, it desperately needs alternatives. And if India can position itself right by offering the right kind of incentives alongside the other bits, maybe this time things will be different. to get information that is tailor-made for you. In this era of clutter, Money Control, India's number one financial destination, has launched Money Control Pro, an ad-free premium service that offers you subscribers curated markets data, exclusive trading recommendations and actionable investment ideas, which help you stay on top of your game. In less than a year, Money Control Pro has become India's fastest growing subscription service with more than 1.2 lakh active subscribers and growing by the minute. We are grateful to all our loyal users for making Money Control Pro an undisputed leader in its category with several corporate giants subscribing in large numbers for their employees. Subscribe today for a seamless, uninterrupted access to a gamut of business and financial information. Be a pro! with Money Control Pro.